Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just some updates on programs and events that we feel will be of interest to the community. Tafsir continues this Sunday from 12 o'clock noon to 1 p.m. in the conference hall. Sheikh Shahid will continue his class in person about the fundamentals of faith at 12 o'clock noon. Registration is now open for our Sunday school, Insight Academy. On Friday, September 9th, ISOC will host a blood drive from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Please plan your time accordingly and be ready to do your part. To schedule an appointment, please refer to our newsletter and plan to sign up if your health allows you to do so. We have only received, we have only received a few sign-ups. This evening, the South Asian Network will be on site to hold a seminar encouraging us to overcome stigma about seeking counseling. They will share many professional resources. Plan to be here by 6.30 p.m. In the, con in the conference hall. Dinner will also be available for purchase. They have a booth outside, so please stop by. Please share this, annou this announcement with others. Our staff and team of volunteers feel very frustrated at the large amount of junk and broken furniture that people are dropping off here at the masjid outside of great finds. This is not the purpose, purpose of our thrift store, and it takes up our valuable time to dispose of the items. This afternoon, OCS PTO is inviting you for ice cream. Please stop by their booth outside in front of preschool. Proceeds will go to the PTO to help organize extra activities for our students. Please enjoy lunch this Friday with our vendors, Bubba's Tacos and the Juice Bar. Thank you for supporting our local Muslim-owned businesses. Stay connected with your masjid by following ISOC on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and please get familiar with our website, isocmasjid.org. Details of all classes and events are in our weekly newsletter. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الحمد لله 
الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هدي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله الله تعالى بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله وكفى بالله شهيدا أما بعد فإن أستقى الحديث كتاب الله وإن خير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وإن شر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار All praise is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord of the worlds and peace and blessings upon his prophets and messengers all the prophets and messengers of Allah especially the last and final prophet Muhammad salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him upon his family and upon his followers I bear witness that there is no God except Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi is last and final prophet and messenger. We are in the week, we call it back to school week. This is the time the children are returning to their schools and their colleges and the universities. The students are returning to their schools schools and colleges and universities and uh, we have our, our Orange Crescent School, mashallah, is open this week. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless our students and protect them and give them success, inshallah, in their pursuit of knowledge. It is important to learn but at the same time, it is important to know the purpose of learning. What is the purpose? What is the objective? If the objective is right, correct, good, see the objective that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, then inshallah, this pursuit of knowledge will bring blessings. Blessings upon those who seek knowledge, and blessing upon their families. And this will become an act of ibadah. It is not just learning, but also an act of ibadah, worship. And this is the way to Jannah. So it's very important that believers, Muslims especially, should be very careful and concerned. That is, what is the objective of my learning, of my coming to school? And my seeking knowledge, why I'm doing that? Islam emphasizes very much that we seek knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the very first wahi to Prophet Muhammad وسلم, about learning, about reading, about knowledge. اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم. So these five verses were the beginning of revelation. When Jibril عليه السلام came to Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم when he was in the cave of Hira, he gave him this message: Read in the name of your Lord who created created man from congealed. Clot. Indeed, read, and your Lord is most gracious. He taught by the use of pen and taught man which he did not know. So, reading, the way it started, the whole mission of Muhammad started reading. Read, learn, seek knowledge. Islam says that. All human beings are equal. And that's what Savasiya. People are equal. They are not good or bad because of their color, 
because of their race, because of their nationality, because of their gender. But then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Qul hal yastabil ladina yaglamun wa ladina la yaglamun." إنما يتذكر أولو الألباب. الله سبحانه وتعالى says in order to encourage people to learn and seek knowledge, say, O Prophet, those who know and those who do not know are they equal? Indeed, those who have knowledge, those who have understanding, they are the one who seek knowledge, who who learn, who reflect, who understand the message. إِنَّمَا يَتَذَكَّرُ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ So, yes, human beings are equal, but at the same time, those who seek knowledge, they are better. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who seek knowledge. And it is, everybody should seek knowledge. It is not, knowledge is not for a particular group of people. Only those people have to learn. No, it's open to everybody. Islam gives the opportunity. Everybody should learn, and anybody can learn. So seek knowledge, and then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says that ask Allah to give you more. The Quran doesn't say ask Allah to give you more money. The Quran doesn't say ask Allah to give you more power or fame or name. These are not the, the thing that you just you ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Especially, I mean, of course, you can ask blessings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for everything. But especially, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentioned, "Qur Rabbi Zidni Ilma." In Surah Taha, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and say, "My Lord, increase me in knowledge." So, increasing in knowledge is a, the seeking Allah's blessing. Give me more knowledge. Give me more knowledge, O Allah. Increase me in knowledge, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given us human beings various faculties and various ways of learning and seeking knowledge. Allah has given us our five senses. Everybody, these five senses are given to us for what? To learn, to seek understanding and knowledge. We have our eyesight, we have our hearing, our smelling, our taste, our touch. These senses are given us so that we increase knowledge, understand things. And then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given us aql, the reason that is given especially to the human being. That's why the human beings are known as zawil aql, and the people of aql. And aql is al aql manatu taklif. Aql is from where comes the responsibility. So human beings are responsible for their action. And this is based on their aql. The more they have aql, children are not mukallafin, but once they become mature and they have aql, they become responsible. So he said that aklu manatu taklif, and aql is a gift of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. One should use that. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given us intuition. That means we learn things instinctively, without. The exercise of reason, by instinct we know that we learn things. In the common language, people call it gut feeling. You have that this feeling. I have this. I know this. I'm feeling danger, and this is my feeling. And very often those feelings are there, and these feelings come through experience. And this is a special gift Allah has given us. To the human beings, animals also have that, but human beings are given more mature and more uh, pronounced way, this in intuition. And then the greatest gift of knowledge is al wahi, revelation. And revelation is given to the prophets of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, to special human beings. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has given them so that they may convey it to their followers. They may give it to the human beings, and what he is, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, "Allam al insan ma lam yalam." In the very first way, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, "Allam al insan ma lam yalam." He taught human beings what he did not know, 
and what he does not have a way to know. So this is a special knowledge. And the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And all of these things are gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One has to use them. So Islam emphasizes that use your hawas, your senses, use your aql, use your wisdom, intuition, and of course benefit from the wahi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And wahi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the revelation, is not against reason. There is nothing in religion that is against reason. There is nothing to contradict reason. But of course, wahi gives you much more than reason. Wahi tells you something that you cannot understand through your reason alone. So in Islam, there is no contradiction between reason and revelation. And in Islam, there is no contradiction between science and religion. Both of them ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both of them <coughs> signs of Allah. So you learn from science and you learn from religion. And if there is somebody who thinks that there is a contradiction between science and religion, either they don't understand science or they don't understand religion. Or they don't understand both. But science and religion, the true science, the correct science, and the authentic religion, they do not contradict each other. So one has to take benefit of all. And learning requires all this. You learn religion, and you learn science, and you learn your, through your reason, and you learn from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the message of the Prophet And all of these things are going to help you to grow and become better people. So yes, our aql is good, important, but aql is not sufficient. And in certain areas, aql cannot help. You have to go back to the wahi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to go back to the guidance of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you better understanding of the message of the Quran and the message of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam emphasized that. The Quran mentioned that, and Rasulullah s.a.w. emphasized that. And Rasulullah s.a.w. said, Talabul ilm faridah ala kulli muslim. The seeking of knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim. Every Muslim should learn. That's the way the first generation of Muslim was. Rasulullah s.a.w. came at a time when the people were living in jahiliya, in ignorance. Not too many people knew how to read and write. But he opened the vista of knowledge. He opened the way of learning. So within a short period of time, they were the masters of learning. They were the teachers of humanity. And they started writing and producing and teaching. And that's the way how Islam started. Islam started the whole movement of learning. Because Rasulullah said, Talab ilm faridah ala kulli muslim. Seeking of knowledge is obligatory upon every Muslim. And Rasulullah used to emphasize, Man salaka tariqan yatlubu fi ilman salaka Allahu bihi tariqan min turuq al-jannah. Whosoever walks a path seeking knowledge, Allah will help him to way to walk towards the way of jannah. Wa inna al-malaikata la tadaw ajnihataha li talib al-ilm ridham bima yasna'a. And the angels spread their wings for the student, Talib al-Ilm, because they appreciate whatever he's doing, seeking knowledge. So angels spread the wings in honor of the Talib al-Ilm. وَإِنَّ الْعَالِمَ لَيَسْتَغْفِرُ لَهُ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَالْحَيْتَانُ فِي جَوْفِ الْمَاءِ And the knowledgeable person, everything in the heaven and the earth make istighfar for him. Ask Allah to bless him. Even the fish in the ocean, they pray for the people of knowledge. That's an honor, the honor of the, of the knowledge of people, people of knowledge. وَإِنَّ كُلُّ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِلْعَالِمِ حَتَّى الْحَيْتَانُ فِي الْمَاءِ 
even the fish in the ocean. So this kind of honor is for what kind of knowledge? And then you have two hadiths that very often quoted. The hadiths say that utlub uh, al al mahdi seek knowledge from cradle to the grave. And the other one says utlub al ilm seek knowledge even if it is in China. Although both of these hadiths are not correct, they are not sound hadiths, and they are not from the Prophet But Point is correct. I mean, the message is correct. But it doesn't mean that everything that is corrected from the Prophet ﷺ, of course, whatever the Prophet ﷺ said is correct. But not every correct thing is from the Prophet ﷺ. There are some other people's message also. Some wise saying, some sages, some good people have said things also. So it is a good saying. But not necessarily it is not the saying of, of Rasulullah. So you have to be very careful about that. Don't attribute the Prophet Sallallahu knowingly something that Rasulullah did not say. But it has become popular among the people. And people think this is hadith. But ulama say, laysa sahih. And the laysa means hadith in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is not the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Both of these are hadith. Uttubu al-ilma min al-mahdi al And also uttubu al-ilma wa lakana bil-sain. But yes, you should learn. Keep learning from the beginning to the end. There is no end. Keep learning until the end. And also, if you have to travel, travel for that. And traveling for the sake of knowledge is, is like going to the, it's to the way of Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us that read in the name of Allah. Iqra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq. Read in the name of your Lord who created. This is the first principle of the theory of knowledge in Islam. The proper knowledge is this way. This is the first principle of our epistemology, our theory of knowledge. And that is read in the name of your Lord. Some of the scholars say this is al ilm bil ism. Al-ilm bil-ism, knowledge with the name. And the knowledge with the name brings a special understanding, a special way. You, and you seek knowledge with the name of Allah. And if you do that, seek knowledge with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you have, you have better understanding. The reality you have that. And this knowledge that comes with the name of Allah this knowledge changes the whole perspective. Then a person becomes humble and seek more knowledge and this knowledge changes the character. It is a transformative knowledge. This knowledge affects the personality and that should be the purpose of knowledge. The knowledge is what the Quran says, ilman nafi'an. The hadith of the Prophet emphasized that. Ilm nafi'ah. The knowledge that is beneficial. What is the knowledge of beneficial? Beneficial knowledge. Beneficial knowledge is that if you seek some knowledge, it benefits you and you benefit others. You benefit the humanity. You benefit the society. You bring benefit. That's, that's knowledge. There are people who learn and they harm. They are very knowledgeable, but they harm people. They harm society. So, ilm, ilm, ilm la yanfa. There is some knowledge that is not beneficial. And there is knowledge that is beneficial. So, Jabir radiallahu anh said, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Salu ilman nafi'an, wa ta'awwadu billahi min ilmin la yanfa. Ask Allah beneficial knowledge. And seek Allah's protection from the knowledge that does not help, that does not benefit. And Rasulullah said, Umm Salama radiallahu ta'ala said, Kana yaqulu idha salla subh, hayna yusallim. Rasulullah s.a.w. used to say that after Fajr prayer, after you make salam, after Fajr prayer, 
اللهم إني أسألك علما نافعا ورزقا واسعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا والله I ask you knowledge that is beneficial and the risk the sustenance that is good and deeds that you accept acceptable to you علما نافعا ورزقا طيبا وعملا متقبلا and that was his dua after fajr the day you start you start working and you ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'an wa rizqan tayyiban wa 'amalan mutaqabbalan what do i do will like accept that and bless me with that and then after also he said an anas radiyallahu anhu kana yad'u bi hadhihi ad-da'wat allahumma inni a'udhu bika min 'ilmin la yanfa' wa qalbin la yakhsha' wa du'a'in la yusma' wa nafsin la tashba' Allah, I ask you to protect me from the knowledge that does not benefit, from a heart that has no fear. The heart that has no fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمِنَ قَلْبٍ لَا يَخْشَى وَدُعَاءٍ لَا يُسْمَى And I ask you to protect me from a dua that you don't listen. You won't listen. Yeah. Listen to my dua, Allah. I ask you to save me from a dua that you won't listen. Wa dua in la yusma. And then he said, wa nafs in la tashba. And protect me from a soul that is never satisfied. Always greedy, greedy and greed. More, more and more. And never satisfied. Help him mazid, help him mazid. Eh? More and more and more. So save me from that. Allahumma ni awtuka min haulai al-arba. Oh Allah, I ask you to protect me from these four things. So Muslims should be in the forefront of knowledge. Our students should do the best in their school. And guard your character. Guard your... Protect yourself from wrong influences. And keep your objective in your mind. What I'm learning. And I have to learn. And I have to benefit myself, benefit others. Today, there is an explosion of knowledge. I mentioned four things. But now you have so many other things you can learn. All these different means of knowledge are there. So it's good to benefit from them. And uh, the amount of uh, resources for learning Never, never, ever in the, hum- in, the, in the human history had that many resources available as now today. So people have access to a lot of knowledge for the worldly things. But still there is a lot of ignorance about the things that are beneficial, things that will bring the blessings in this life and in the life to come. As Allah says in the Quran, Surah Al-Rum, يَعْلَمُونَ ظَاهِرًا مِنَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَهُمْ عَنِ الْآخِرَةِ هُمْ غَافِلُونَ They know the outward aspects of this life. They know outward, outward aspects. ظَاهِرًا مِنَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا But they are totally heedless about Akhirah. They don't care of Akhirah. They don't believe in the Akhirah. And they have forgotten the Akhirah. وَهُمْ عَنِ الْآخِرَةِ هُمْ غَافِلُونَ And that's why there is so much confusion between what is good and what is bad. And they are creating confusion in the minds of many people. Don't know what is right and what is wrong. Don't know what is good and what is bad. The bad things have become good and good things have become bad. Think that the humanity has a long time knew that they were bad, they are now considered as okay, acceptable. Because the knowledge is not the beneficial knowledge. It is knowledge is spoiling the mind, is spoiling the spirit, is spoiling the, mind, the, the morals, is spoiling the environment, is spoiling the society. So that is the knowledge that you seek. Ask Allah, Allah protect me from that thing. Give me the right understanding of things. أَرِنَ الْحَقَّ حَقًّا وَرْضُقْنَ اتِّبَعًا وَأَرِنَ الْبَاطِلَ بَاطِلًا وَرْضُقْنَ اتِّنَابًا O Allah, 
help us to see the truth as truth and then help us to follow it and help us to see the falsehood as falsehood and keep away from it. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the right path and give us the beneficial knowledge and understand the objective of knowledge and help us that we help ourselves, our families, our communities and help the humanity. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen, Nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the right path and protect us. And uh, we are especially, should pray for the people of Pakistan. There is a terrible flood there, worst kind of flood that they are facing at this time, especially the areas of Sindh and Balochistan, and even the North Gilgit area. So all that area is terribly, a terrible flood. And uh, they're saying that, uh, the report says that thousands of people have died. And uh, more than a million people are displaced. And 33 million people are affected. Imagine that 33 million people are affected by this vast area. Villages are gone completely, wiped out. So this is a terrible flood. May Allah have mercy. May Allah have mercy on the people. And forgive the sins. Forgive. Bring the people to the right path. Inshallah. Um, what is our responsibility? Our responsibility is to pray for them and then also help as much as we can. Relief efforts. There's a need for a lot of relief efforts. So there are organizations, agencies that are working in Pakistan. They are raising funds here in America. Please seek some knowledge for that. Understand that. And... Uh, I think there was a group that was supposed to come and have a table outside, so they might have it. Mm, uh, so, or Islamic Relief or Helping Hand, whatever organization that you know. But help, help. Because when we help, mercy of Allah SWT come upon us as well. Because, Sana'u al-Ma'roof, Taqi Masari Asu. Hadith of the Prophet Good deeds protect from the, from the evil happenings. Things may happen, evil happens, they can happen, so they, they see that. So always try to do the good things. In Allah, wa malaykatahu yusalluna ala nabi, ya ayyuhu alladheen amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala abdika wa rasulika Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه وعلى من تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين خصوصا على الخلفاء الأربعة أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعلى السيدين الشهيدين أبي محمد الحسن وأبي عبد الله الحسين وعلى أمهما فاطمة الزهراء وعلى عمه المعزمين المكرمين عند الله والناس الحمد لله والعباس وعلى سائر الصحابة والتابعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية اللهم إنا نسألك العفو والعافية والمعافاة الدائمة والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم أغث إخواننا المظلومين إخواننا المبتلين المصابين في باكستان وفي كل مكان رب يخرى الرحمة وأنت خير الرحمة إن الله وملائكة يصلون على النبي إباد الله رحمكم الله إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر فأقيم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر 
الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله <تصفيق> الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين إن في خلق السماوات والأرض واختلاف الليل والنهار لآيات لأولي الألباب الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار ربنا إنك من تدخل النار فقد أخذيته وما للظالمين من أنصار ربنا إننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للإيمان أن آمنوا بربكم فآمنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا وآتنا ما وعدتنا على رسلك ولا تخزنا يوم القيامة إنك لا تخلف الميعاد الله سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين والتين والزيتون والطور السينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Please remember in your dua our brother Muhammad Rafi he is in the hospital brother Haysam Bandakchi Brother Bilal Dalati, Sister Rima Dalati, and um, Sister Gina Siddiqui. May Allah bless her. She also had a um, broken hip and arm. May Allah subhanahu wa give her shifa. May Allah give shifa to all of them. Allah mushfan ta shafi la shafi illa anta shifa an la yuqadir suq. Also, Dua Maghfira for Brother Jabbar Mufid Abina, Sister Suhair Abraham, and Brother Muhammad Mubin, Sister Zahra Abdul Qadir, Sister Khairun Nisa Karim, Sister Maimuna Yusuf Jinwala, Brother Jamil Ahmad, his funeral will be tomorrow. And Brother Harold Haywood, his funeral will be on Tuesday. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, give them the place in Jannah. Allahumma gfillahum ya Allah, Allahumma gfillahum wa rahum, wa aafihim wa afu'anhum. Allahumma akrim nuzulahum wa sahbat khalahum. Allahumma gfil khatayahum bil ma'il al-sajr wa al-barad. Allahumma naqqihim min al-zunubi wa al-khataya kama yinaqqa sahbal abiyad min al-danas. Allahumma jazim bil ihsan ya ihsan wa bil sayyad ya afu'a minka wa ghufran. رب اغفر وارحم وانت خير الراحمين وصلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين بارك الله فيكم لا بلشيون